I'm Jason Burns from Nutanix Tech Marketing. In this video, you'll learn how to connect your VMs to VLAN-backed networks and manage their IP addresses all using the Nutanix Hypervisor AHV. Let's use these VMs running on a single AHV host as an example to show how networking and VLANs work inside AHV. Here we have one AHV host connected to two physical switches. And at the bottom, that physical switch is trunking two VLANs, VLAN 101 and VLAN 102, up to the interfaces of the AHV host. And those are red and blue. We also have an untagged VLAN for the CVM and the AHV host. I've also indicated that here as VLAN 0 on the CVM and the AHV host, but really this is just an untagged set of traffic. Now if we look at the user VMs, we have a VLAN 101 assigned to the blue user VM and a VLAN 102 assigned to the red user VM. From the virtual machine into the OVS Bridge 0, those packets don't have any tag on them. But for a VLAN 101 uh, network, that traffic coming from the VM is going to have a tag put on it inside the bridge BR0, and then it'll be sent tagged out to the physical network. And the reverse process happens for traffic coming in from the network. So coming in on VLAN 101, that packet has a tag all the way up to bridge BR0, and the VLAN tag is removed before being sent to the right VM. We configure the networks inside virtual infrastructure, VMs, and then network config. Here we see that there are two networks available, Net101 and Net102, from our example. Net101 is a managed network that has VLAN ID 101. All we do is check the box for enable IP address management, and then provision the network prefix, as well as the gateway IP address and some optional domain settings. You can also create pools of different IP addresses to hand out for assigned virtual machines. This pool, as an example, has IP address 100 to 200 in the range. You can override the default DHCP server inside this pool. Uh, by default, it's the IP at the end of the range, but you can assign a different IP if that one might be taken by something in your infrastructure. If we look at Net 102, which is a simple unmanaged network, the only piece of configuration required is specifying the VLAN ID. If we navigate to an individual VM, we can look at the NICs that are assigned that VM. Here, we'll first assign a managed network NIC from Network 101 to this VM. Network 101 has a, an IP address and prefix associated with it because it's a managed network, and we can choose to assign an IP manually or if we leave this blank, one will be assigned from the IPAM range. If we look and add another NIC in network 102, we can see that there is no additional configuration and the IP address is not assigned by Nutanix. And the network 101 NIC has an IP address assigned as soon as it's created. In a managed network such as net 101, all DHCP packets are intercepted and sent through a VXLAN tunnel to the Acropolis leader process where IPAM or DHCP is running. Inside an unmanaged network such as Net102, those DHCP packets go directly to the network to whatever DHCP server already exists. Now you can connect your VMs to different VLANs and manage their IP addresses. For more information on advanced configuration, such as trunking multiple VLANs to a single VNIC or command line configuration, view the AHV Networking Best Practices Guide. Thanks for watching.